We're getting complaints about because we're having fun and the the fans aren't, and we're just not live yet. So <laughs> complaint came in. Sitting here waiting for the show. What the fuck? All right, we we come inside. Hold your horses. Remember, the views and opinions expressed by a show and its guests are strictly those of said individuals and do not reflect those of Black Sheep Bravo, LLC staff, nor the staff of Black Sheep Bravo. Thank you and enjoy the show. Keeping it tight. How much does your penis weigh? Okay, I'm an idiot. More than a feeling. Don't let your dog around your vibrator. It cut off. So, um... That was compliments of Doc. Doc, uh, Doc's new uh, new intro there. So uh, there right, you have Doc. it, Doc. Yeah, there you have it. Uh, it's Rich Friday night, which means work. yeah, of course you did. Yeah, which means one thing: it's uh, it's the Friday night roundtable here on Black Sheep Bravo. This is just host, the Spaniard, keeping it tight, and we have the rest of the crew here. We got Ogre Doc and Devil Dog, and uh, it's our Mother's Day special. So um, Yay. if you guys want to, uh, I'm going to be posting this up here. Our phone number. Uh, so if you want to give us a call and chime in and, and wish your mom or uh, your mommy dearest a special uh, a special um, happy Mother's Day uh, message, give us a call. I'll be posting it up here right now. In the meantime, we're going to start off with our uh, check-ins. We're going to start off at Stately Ogre Manor with Ogre. So take it away, Ogre. Hey, good week. Uh, not a bad week. I guess I could be an abortion doctor in Alabama, so I'm probably, probably having a bad week right now. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Uh what else is going on? Or Kevin Durant. Of course, he's making a shit ton of money, so I guess he'll be okay. He'll be all right. But, uh, yeah, just uh, weather's, weather's getting – yeah, he's a basketball player. Gotcha. Okay. Got to get a different group or Did something. Did he pee on people too? Uh, <laughs> no, I don't think so. Not yet. Maybe. <laughs> okay. He dong-whipped a few of them when he's dunking on them, but that's about it. <laughs> uh, and the Cubs, uh, even though they lost today, they're back in first place. So. Oh, they lost. Ooh, go hard. Cubbies. <laughs> took you a while to get that rejection. You get a little slow with the trigger there. Uh, nothing really exciting. School's winding down, and uh, there you go. Curling. All right. Well, thanks. Yeah, I got nothing to gonna... start off with. And happy Mother's Day to all you mothers out there. Yeah, especially the MILFs. Fucking A. We're gonna, speaking yeah. of MILFs, we're going to have her to, uh, to, the, to the Bronx, Devil Dog, man. He's the, uh, <laughs> he the ruler of the MILFs over there, milf. man. He keeps them all in check. He's a, <laughs> he's a PILF. <laughs> I'm a PILF. Wow, that's pretty good. Man, you know, guys, I had a good week. I can't complain. It was a great week. Um, I already chimed in earlier during the week. Man, I tell you, it was such a thrill to be in Yankee Stadium and to be honored amongst those other police officers and those firemen. Uh, it was so cool being on the field. Uh, my wife was there. My friends from the American Legion was there. We had a great time. The Yankees got their ass kicked, but it's all good, man. I got a so, clip uh, of that. You guys want to see it? It's been a it? good week. Uh, let's take a look. Yeah, at sure. This. Let's now, see. I, I must. Uh, it's a great honor. I must. Yeah, I must apologize. I couldn't figure. I couldn't figure out. Um, well, I have to. Uh, I thought I had this here. I'm gonna. Yeah, let me see if I could do this. I will cue that up here in a minute. In the meantime, we're going to head over to Doc, uh, see hey, uh, see what's going yeah. on in his neck of the woods. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, Josh. I know, man. Take it away. <laughs> oh, I don't really have much. I mean, this week was just another week, but it's it's Mother's Day weekend, so make sure you guys go out there, get your mom something nice, a card, maybe some popcorn or chocolate, whatever popcorn. you get her. Just, yeah. what, would you, uh, what would you recommend? We get moms. This is, we're going to take well, a moment Well, okay, here I since... already got my mom uh, her Mother's Day gifts, and I got her popcorn. Well, she's watching. And... Yeah, she is watching, and she already opened it. So, Popcorn. Because uh, I just ordered it through Amazon and have it, had it sent to her house. And <laughs> just made it easy. So I, no oh, deliveries on Mother's Day that I have to pay, like, $180 for. Uh, yeah. No, no, no expense for your mother. Mother. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Popcorn. Well, when you're going to get, get it on uh, Thursday before. before. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's better than pork rinds. I guess getting your mom pork rinds. Might be. Well, unless your mom. I got my mom. Rinds. 
Yeah. No, she doesn't. What's wrong I with like pork, pork rinds? rinds. I love Beef them. Jerky. I'll eat the fuck out of pork rinds. I Beef just, jerky. man. Yeah, I think I think they that. should have. This is if I ever decided to open up a bar, I would offer pork rinds in bowls, and then you can okay. eat pork rinds because they make you thirsty and you just want to drink more they beer. Do. So that that's would be true. my. Uh, I guess that's why they have peanuts too. Yeah, pretzels. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Pretzels, chips, peanuts. Yeah. But anyways, make sure you guys get your mom something nice. That's all I got for right now. That's okay. right. All right. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Yeah, and um, yeah, it's. Um, my uh, my check-in really is today. It started off as a shitty day. It was rainy. It was cold. I'm thinking, man, for fuck's sake, I'm, I'm sick of all this rain. And then out of you know, out of nowhere, it was supposed to rain all day. So this was like a freak of nature. Right around noon, uh, the sun came out and just it things just looked beautiful, man. So I'm just saying, even though your day may seem to start out shitty, he's got you know, to give it some time, man. You never know. You'd be surprised. Grubby fucking was a little pissed because I know up at his neck of the woods, he, uh, he didn't get any sunshine. So uh, hats off to him. He's, he's been posting yeah. up some great shit. So yeah, Grubby, thank hats you for off. what Grubby's you do, fantastic, Grubby. Fantastic, man. That man, is awesome, friend. Grubby. Cheers to you. Oh, cheers to you. Uh, happy Mother's Day. Give your shout out to your mom, Grubby, if uh, she's still with us. Also want to give a shout out to DV Radio if they're out watching. Uh, if you guys haven't checked them out, they got some great material. Uh, head out to their Facebook page and then uh, check out some of their, uh, their, yes. their shows that they have on their syndicate. Um, yeah. Good stuff going on. So tonight, um, I wanted to talk about moms, all right? Um, some of us have been, um, you know, graced to have our mothers in our lives. So I want to hear from you guys out there in, uh, in, our, uh, in our viewing and listening audience. Uh, share some stories and, of you. What do you want to tell your mom uh, this right. uh, this holiday? Again, you can give us a call. We would also definitely. Oh, We'd that? also definitely like to hear that if your mom is a milf. So yeah, make sure, for sure that pictures. you let us Send know. Pictures. That's a bonus, yeah, yeah. please. Yeah. If you course. got a bon if you have a picture of a milf of your milf, we will send you a T-shirt. I don't think that's yeah, what size we'll get. Yeah. But we'll give oh, you a yeah, T-shirt. Hopefully, your mom will wear it, and then we'll give you know. You take a picture of your mom in a T-shirt. You want another prize? Right. We'll talk about that more later on the show. Yeah, give that uh, so number I, out I think again, Spaniard. Yeah, that number is eight 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 two four zero twenty five sixty. Once you uh, once you make it, make it through, you have to enter a code, and that code I listed it there nine nine six zero six four seven nine seven. You'll have a direct line to our studio. And you'll be listened all across the world here on the Black Sheep Bravo Friday Night Roundtable. So, all right, well, what are we oh. talking about? Hot topics going around the uh, going on the world: baseball or football? What do you say? Is, is there? Hey, I got a question. Is there a is there a age? Is there a minimum age for a milf? Hmm. I'd say there's a maximum. I don't think there's a minimum. I well, I guess there, the minimum I, I, would I be think, 18. No, 18. No, 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 yeah. time no. Time out. Time out. Because if you're, if, you're, if you're 18 or 19 and you're hot, then you're just a, a bitch, a hot bitch with a kid. No, no but enough. you're still a mom. Does that technically make that you a like milf? Fuck. Yeah, but isn't a milf? Isn't don't you have to have like kids of a certain? Thirty age? and up. No, or I don't. I don't think up. that's accurate. Is that what I it is? I think 30? as long as you have I'm a kid, guessing. you're no, I don't automatically think there's qualified. A, I don't think there is an actual age limit. Vic but agrees I think with if me. A, Vic if a chick agrees. is if a chick yeah, is 22 and she has a kid and she's hot, yeah. she's just a hot chick with it's a. Just a kid. Mean, we got people kid, saying yeah. 30. There you thank you. 30 is the individual. But that doesn't make sense either because, I mean, you have moms that are like 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, all, yeah, all you're not, little, you're, not, but... you're, you're not following me. Yes, yes. Technically, they are mothers. But do they fall into MILF category? No. Yes, I mean, because they are mothers. No. 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 no I, I... When, I, when I hear MILF, I think older, 30 and up. Yeah. I think when I think of 30 and up, I think 67, of 68, something like that. <laughs> well, okay. Yeah, you can see that. <laughs> and then the also, do not then, do then, a then the very rare, the very rare good gilf, which is a great grandmother. Oh, geez. <laughs> yeah, whatever you do, do not Google, <laughs> do not Google MILF. It will not, uh, you will not uh, you'll be surprised. It's pretty, uh, pretty Whatever you bad, do, so. do not Google blue waffle. <laughs> that that's another one, yeah, for sure. But I'm gonna I'm gonna look, man. Blue. There's a lot of milfs Waffle, on this Google page. Well, that's what I'm, what I'm saying. Now, how many of them milfs in those pictures that you're looking at right, right now, Spaniard? Not paying attention. Yes. How many of those? Not how many of them attention. milfs looking look to be 18 to, to 30? Oh no, they are they are definitely at least 30 or above. 
Well, that's, that's what I'm saying. See, that's yeah. I think it's a category. I think if you're if you're if you're in your 20s or, or legal, I guess if you're in Alabama and you can't get abortions anymore, and you're I guess you're legal at like 12 in that state, and uh, you know you're, you're not necessarily a quote unquote milf. You're a hot yeah. broad with a kid. I think there's a difference. I don't think there is a difference. Ah. I gotta I gotta go with what because Vic I mean that's no, there is still a difference. Mom. What did Vic say? I did not see the comment from Read what Vic uh, said. They aren't moms. Mm-hmm. They are kids with kids. That's what. There you go, said. Vic. There you go, Vic. Uh, oh. Joel said cougars are 35 plus. Mike. Cougars. Higdon. Yeah, Higdon. One isn't going to be oh, 35 plus. A milf at 18. See, here's someone with uh, a familiar last name that agrees with me. One, <laughs> one isn't going to be a milf at 18. See, that's that's. There my you point. go. I agree. That's my point. I mean, we got technically, some smart yes. viewers, man. Yes, right. by letter of the law, you, you are a mother. A, I'm a, but I'm a bad mother. That Steve, doesn't make me a Steve, milf. what age is a milk, Steve, Steve? I got someone to agree with me. Fuck you guys. Who agreed with you? Who agreed with you? Jillian. Hey, girl, hey. Well, that's here. She's now here's probably some, trying to... Wait a minute. Oh, come on. Jill, okay, so the these milfs. are the milfs, right? Yeah, right these are probably non-porn. like 25 this or non, something. This is non-porn. non-porn. All right, yeah, I just but, typed in hot moms. Yeah, see, these are older broads. No, oh, not all of them though. Like some of them are way less than thirty. There, come on. I, I, I bet you they're 30? not. No, I'm well, saying even, I'm. I don't know. Even I'm the thirty plus. At, little bit. Hey, school bus. Ooh, I want that. Look hey, at that one. <laughs> oh, there we go. Right up my alley. Ogre would want look that at these. One. Holy Moses. That is nice, Ogre. Does she work for your I'm school district? <laughs> <laughs> no, Damn, she, no, she does boss. not work. I can tell you 100% she does not work Ooh. for me. Are you sure? Yeah. I, uh, man, we'd like to know works. this. Yeah, we would. Uh, Steve, even says 20 plus, boss. you could be a milk. Steve, man, what the hell is wrong with you, Steve? I don't think so. I, 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 it's a, it's Steve, a, it's... get some milks in your Coke, Coke truck or something. Never ending battle. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> if the Coke trucks are rocking, don't come and knocking. Don't look 45 it. plus is a cougar. I agree I, with that. I am in total agreement with yeah, but can you be a cougar? Yeah, but you could be a cougar and still have a kid. Wouldn't that make you a mm-hmm. milf? No, I think that makes you a cougar because you're old as fuck. Excuse oh, me? God. Could be. Pardon me? Yeah. Tick tock there, ducky. <laughs> I know. My number's coming up. Fuck off. Uh-huh. Wait, how the hell? Who the hell's that? Hey, Where, what the hell is that guy doing there? What's that guy doing there? I'm just, I'm just, <laughs> that's, uh, that's Ogre's <laughs> future. That's Ogre's that future picture. exposing himself and what? Yeah. You get my mug shot. <laughs> Take a look at this. Like me and a bad oh, name. Ogre. Back in 02. <laughs> that does kind of resemble you. No, I would have bet that was Florida, but I would have been wrong. I know. I, I was thinking Florida, but yeah, that second... Number two is always Arizona. You know, yeah, you know, what is there. wrong with that guy, though? <laughs> Having a rough Good night. Lord. Yeah, he did. <laughs> He's getting processed. That's never good. You're not singing and dancing. I mean, come He's on. ready to go to the bookings. <laughs> yeah. See, that see, little kid right there has got it right. Here. He's pointing this at the booth. Uh, Dipping him out to Rikers. <laughs> this is what you, got. you got a trampoline. You get, this is suburbia right here. This has got to. This has got to be the northwest suburbs of Illinois and Chicago right here. This is the mm. typical Chicago suburb suburbanite. And, uh, you know, you got your trampoline, you know, and you're trying, you know, you got the tube top. Looks good. It works, man. The Midwest get rid of, get rid works. Of that picture. You got your fucking ugly ass feet in front of my What's oh, up, TV Oink? Uh, feet's a turnoff there. for you, huh? I have no oh, feet. It. Man, so, look at those camel See, now this here, these are <laughs> oh. hot moms, but are they MILFs? <laughs> no. Well, the no, one on the right is a, is a MILF. If they have a child, think... they are a MILF. By definition. So do you think I, that adds two? You disagree. I disagree okay. with what Doc just said, that if they have a child, by definition, they're a milk. I see now that. See, this it's is a ga 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 ga. What the What's hell? What's up, DV Oink? We're Where looking at so milfs right now. So Why are you welcome switching to the, the picture show. on me? Oh, which picture did you want? No, no. I'm, I, I looked away, and then I looked at the picture. That one, hello. I love peanut butter. Now, see, <laughs> peanut butter and moms peanut go hand butter. in hand. Yeah. Yeah, I, mean, I see. See, Are you I could, saying that for Siren's this. mom, or was yeah, I saying that? Peanut butter make you sticky. What's the difference? Oh no! And especially if you have uh, allergies, if you get that anaphylactic uh, shock. And <laughs> you oh yeah, it, it kind of yeah. closes their throat around your <laughs> it closes uh, your windpipe. Your and member. You die. Yeah. yeah, and you can't you can't have that. You can't no. have now. Okay, now here's the other thing. This is tired. the other thing that. Pregnant moms, is that is that in? Are you guys? Yeah, because you can you can you can finish and you don't have to worry about knocking them up. 
I think oh, well, that's, that's not entirely true there, Ogre, but anyways. What are you oh, wow. really? Tell dog. us about what that, you, Doc. Tell us, there's, Doc. Been, there's been, like, rare medical cases where these women have, like, two different uteri, or uteruses, wow. uteruses, whatever, uh, that, that have possible. gotten pregnant after they have gotten pregnant, and they've given birth that three months. Quadrillion? Yeah. It doesn't matter, but it still happens. That I'm still take happens. My, I'll, ta I'll take he my chances the doc. of pregnant chicks. <laughs> Mm. He is the doc of but the still, show. yeah, I, I'd say I'm I'm into pregnant. Yeah, shows. I got no problem with pregnant I, frogs. My, my unless they're <laughs> unless they're pregnant by me, and then they never see me again. <laughs> Here's the other thing: <laughs> exactly. brunettes or blondes. It don't matter as far as hot moms. Yeah, Doesn't don't matter. matter. Don't brunettes matter. don't matter for sure. Great. Okay. Okay. I could kill Brainy. It. Bald. I don't give a damn. You like them bald? Bald. Who cares? Cleaner. All right. Man, what you're after, like, these backwoods Kentucky-type people, huh, Devil Dog? There you backwoods go, Kentucky back in North Carolina. Not have hair. Does Who meth cares? make your hair fall out? I think Wigs. so. Put on a wig. I don't care. Oh, let's see. we got to look at this. This is Hot Moms, Volume 2. Oh, we can't show that. Yeah. This, that, yeah. Uh, we're, we're volume sensitive, 2? So we can't do that. Okay. Well, it's a book. It's, it's, a little, it's, uh, it's, 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 it's a little... Yeah, Cameron Diaz. Cutting it close there. Cameron Diaz. Exactly. Hubba, hubba. Now, Cameron Diaz. She looks fat looks... in that picture. Is that Doesn't Cameron she Diaz? Did you say she looks fat in that picture? Doesn't she have herpes? Oh, no. my God. Well, she might. How do you know? Does she I have a. Know. You see I the pin? No, you I see know. the pin where it says, I have oh, herpes? Oh, wait, no, no. That's uh, Paris Hilton. Paris Hilton has herpes. And a shit ton I didn't know she was even a mom. Like, does she have kids? Let's see. This one looks a little. A little, little more. A little Natasha Natasha Hengstridge. Yeah, wasn't hmm. she in one? Of, and she uh, wasn't she in the uh, what was those movies? Those uh, the zombie movies. Uh, what was it? Uh, damn it! Resident Evil. Was that her? or Was that a different Resident Natasha? Evil. <laughs> yeah, you know they they hit like know. twelve twelve movies. Um, well, there you have they're it. Work, well, there's Hot Moms. All right, we well, got a lot right. of. Uh, Don't worry about that. Hey, you see that moms. guy? You hear about the cat that got the. Uh, Banned for life from Wrigley? No. Yeah, that's so no, stupid. Happened? They need what to fuck off this? for that. Why is that? What? Tell us the story. I didn't hear that. The guy made a hand signal behind the reporter was on TV, and apparently there's this stupid uh, look down here. Oh, I got you, and you get to, uh, to punch somebody. The circle game that you played in, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. in, in junior high school, and apparently yeah. it's like, like, beloved by people. I didn't know that the guys over the age of, like, 25 are still, like, in love with that game. But apparently this symbol that down in the OK upside down was, like, taken by uh, uh, some, like, troll group or something on 4chan or whatever these nerdly things are. I need my oldest son to to uh, <laughs> tell me all this stuff. They, 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 they tried to make it. They, they were trolling and making it that it was, that that really was a white power symbol. And really? what happened? What that. happened was, is that white supremacists, in reality, latched onto it, and and, and kind of and kind of took that as to something of their own, as to make it a symbol. The guy that was in New Zealand or whatever, Australia, that shot them people, it was a white supremacist. He made that he made that symbol not long ago in uh, in court there, and they did it for him. So this dude was at the Cubs game, and behind the uh, the the reporter on TV, they shot to it, and the guy. The guy looked and he and he did the, the flash the symbol thing there, and that was it. And then there were a few people on uh, uh, social media that started like on the twitters and stuff saying that guy just flashed the white supremacist sign. And my initial thought was when I watched it because I was watching that game, I watched it when it happened, and I thought I'm like, hey, eh, the guy got the guy got the circle on somebody, and uh, <laughs> that was my initial thought. And I had never heard yeah. that because I'm a you know the 47 year old adult male that you know doesn't i'm not on fortran troll chat groups or whatever to i don't even know what the hell that is so uh so they they started looking and they they looked into it people complained about it and they they looked into it and i guess they they figured out who the guy was by his seat and by the season tickets or whatever in that area they figured out who he was it's not too difficult to go on social media and see and they went on the guy's social media and apparently uh, allegedly, there was stuff on his social media that had nothing to do with the circle game, but quite a few things to do with the other stuff about the white supremacist. Uh, and they reached out to him. The Cubs reached out to him several times, tried to get in touch with him. He refused to 
comment to the Cubs or anything, so they said, all right, fuck you, you're banned. And now people on, uh, the Cub fans anyway, I know here in Chicago it's a big thing. It's still on sports radio and on the, uh, you know, the Facebook groups and shit. People are still just like up in arms about it. About, it's a stupid game. With the boo, boo, boo. It's, it's like it can mean two things. Because I thought that too. I'm like, what? That's not white supremacy. Yeah, what that, the fuck that, are they talking about? That if you look at, you if you look at the circle, you, you get punched. It. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Is that yeah. the same game that if you look down and you look at the circle, you get that's, punched? That's the thing, yeah. That's it. Yeah. But apparently it means other, it. Stuff, other stuff, too. You stick your finger yeah. in a light socket, you get shocked. Yes, I think that's something to do with it. I don't know. But <laughs> well, yeah, no, so I thought I, I thought that the, yeah. you thought well, that sex. You can't no, that, you know, you, you, you make the you know, you make the circle. And if you see it and you put and your you finger in your it, finger. Then yeah, you that's punch, that's you a, punch the guy. Then you get the then you, know? you get the double rubber band glue effect. Or something. Yeah, that's, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah, that, I that's know. something too. You can't but do I shit guess. anymore, man. The whole oh, thing is just dumb, and people are fucking crazy about stupid shit now. You know? Yeah. It makes no lot. sense. Old ass men at work do that shit. Drives me nuts. Thank you, Katie. Thank oh, she you, also said that the the Resident Evil going back is Mila. Yeah, it was Mila. Jovovich. Yeah. Mila. Yeah, I remember now. She uh, she's good. She knows her movies. Definitely knows her movies. Sure. So yeah, man. Right. But yeah, back back right. to the Cubs thing. I mean, that, that's that's still ridiculous that they that they banned him though. So is he banned uh, for life or is he banned for the year? I guess yeah, that's what they said. Life. Banned for life. You are. I, I think they're kind of jumping the gun there. You know what? Fuck the Cubs organization. They're, they're just too, trying to protect their own asses. <laughs> no, because you know, here's the thing. Because I tried looking up tickets. Asses. Like, see, for well, example, because if they like, don't I do got... anything, they're gonna have people protesting against them. This is part of my ain't that some shit segment here. This is okay. So this is my here's my little segment about uh, about this. All right. Now let's say for example we got Devil Dog coming from New York over to Chicago next month. We're going to be going to uh, Pets and Vets over with uh, Backcourt uh, Bar and Grill for that June 30th thing, right? So yeah. now let's say I got Devil Dog coming and I pick him up and I take him to a Cubs game and I was like, yeah, you know, this is short notice. I want to go. It's going to end up costing me like four hundred dollars just to take me and him to the fucking baseball game just to no, catch a quick. How much will it cost me? You could get you could get, bleacher, take, you could get bleacher tickets or, or upper upper deck tickets, uh, upper deck non reserved on uh, StubHub for like twelve eight bucks. Don't don't oh, really? don't kid okay. yourself. Yeah, you go to go to okay. a day game yeah. during go to a weekday day game. <laughs> oh, when but they're you're still playing, paying eighteen dollars a beer. Oh, for God's sake! Yeah, you know, and parking and then this and that. I mean, it's just before you know it, yeah. you're going to end up spending at least two bills. And don't go. Or said. Well, that's what I'm saying. This I, I don't under, I don't understand this argument. People well, my, about the this argument is, like, is go ahead and go, ban man. every fucking body. Yeah, ban everybody. Fuck that because it should be fucking five bucks a ticket all the way around because it seems to me Why? that only the rich can go watch fucking baseball games. Now you're, I would now love you're... to take my family to a fucking baseball game because I can't because I would need to take out a loan to take You want to take them for five, <laughs> you want to take for five bucks for tickets. The take, them to, take them to Comiskey. Take them to 35th and Shields. Well, that's what I mean. Why does it have to be so goddamn called. expensive? Why? Why does it have to be uh, expensive? What are we paying about for? Making, making all the tickets $5 a piece, that's commie talk. Now you're... Now you're... No, I'm not talking five now you're getting, now, you're come on. now you're getting my hair up where you're there. What am I paying for? To see a bunch of old doc, fat non athletic aren't you, guys aren't you super walk non, around. Uh, invisible hand of the market. If the market says that they could that they could get that much for a ticket, they can get that much for a ticket. So period. why is why is five dollars and Cubs listen. games are fifty dollars? Because nobody wants to go see the White Sox. Play. Well that's what I mean. <laughs> It's like yeah, it should sucks. be fun. It should be nobody fun. gives a it's shit. All about if Joel said you should just go to a minor league game. Yeah, yeah, go watch go watch minor league shit back. Go watch the go watch the fucking Schomburg Boomers or whatever okay. the hell. I'm gonna called. watch grass grow. It's Juliet cheap. Slammers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> King County Cougars. You go watch Class A ball. A bunch of 19 year olds strike out. Still, still and run wrong ways for a fly ball. Yeah. And then you you get, at least you could heckle them and not get banned. You know, you could say, you know, well, there's you a difference heckle those between, Now let's slow down here. There's a difference between heckling and making an a an alleged white supremacist hand signal. No, I know. I know that, but and I'm then they then as... they check you out, and then you refuse any comment. And your social media, then Twitter has uh, has alleged white supremacist stuff all over it. Yeah, I mean, oh, that okay. seems kind of convenient for their narrative, but that's okay. Well, I get that. I get. I think that. I had every chance that you tell me you 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 sure that that any radio station, sports radio in Chicago, or even a, a fucking Mark G and Greco is he still alive? Somebody I'm on sure. on a sports <laughs> a sports Greco. yeah have a sports. I almost said Tim Weigel, but he's. He's long dead. Uh, you know, some sportscaster, if he called up their fucking producer and said, hey, I want to tell my side of the story, 
that he wouldn't be on TV lickety split? Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. I don't of know. course he would. And w- but why isn't he? Hmm. How come mm-hmm. he hasn't come forward and said, my name is Joe Schmidtimabub, and here, here's my story in Wrigley Field, and fuck the Cubs, and they're banning me for nothing? Why hasn't he done that if he's if if there's nothing to, else to his side of the story? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. There's motivation I, in everything. Gee, think, think about that for a second. I'm, I'm sure you can come up with a reason why. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm not, you know, ace defender just because I like the Cubs. I give a shit. I saw a good, uh, I saw a good uh, uh, conspiracy theory that the whole thing was was fabricated and made to happen because they, because they brought Addison Russell back up to the big team after serving his his fifty sixty game suspension or whatever for beating his wife last year. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was that was all just yeah, just like that. It was all it was all a smoke screen. So they would there would be other news for the Cubs. Hey, players. look over here. I'm, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Oh, yeah. The man behind the curtain. Look over here. Look at this guy yeah. giving the upside down OK sign. So, so who yeah. the fuck knows? I yeah, like I going to football so. games. I don't like shit. I don't go. To, I don't go to. I don't even go to Wrigley. Too goddamn expensive. Say. So I, I was going to say. The only time I've been to Wrigley. The only time I've been to Wrigley was when Billy Joel was there. Oh, and that Billy was Joel. Jesus, that's incredible. Doc, I want you to I want you to sign off and go Shit. kill yourself right now. Yeah, Billy you said Joel. I'm old. You, you went to go see you make fun of me for being old and you're going to see Billy Joel. Are you on meds when Sing you go me see that? No, 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 no. The piano, I, I, man. I got, I, I got my wife coder. tickets because Billy <laughs> Joel is, is, is her idol. <laughs> He's been living in his wife's <laughs> friend world. <laughs> 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 He's coming yeah, in his scooter. Yeah, knock all you want. He puts on a great show. I like Billy Joel, Doc. I like yeah, Billy Joel. Thank so. you. Only if, if it was a free concert, I'd go. Uh, that's other yeah, than over, that. Yeah, shut up. Yeah. <laughs> Billy Joel is cool. All right, don't forget. The calls, call line is now open. Don't forget to give us a call, 888-240-2560. Call line. Call us. Call us. Shaniqua, call us. think of another Billy Joel song. Oh, Billy Joel, Uptown. Yeah, that's what Billy. Oh, Piano Man. Yeah, that's, I guess, that's that one. The classic. Go ahead. Start singing that one. No, no, I ain't doing it. I ain't doing it. You ain't may be right. So here's uh, oh, yeah. got it, kind of going back to the whole Mother's Day thing. So what do you, um, what is the what is the hot gift to give this year? Popcorn. Have you guys heard or what's, what's popcorn besides popcorn uh, in the uh, in the. <laughs> In the docks uh, world gifts. here. I mean, is there like is there like a got to have gift for your I mother? <laughs> I guess I don't know, man. Every year hey, they that's come what up with she something wants. Big. It's all good. <laughs> Fourteen inch Mr. Yeah, Softy. Right. What the hell are you gonna give her? What? I mean, come on. Ooh, Mr. Softy. <laughs> Taco Bell. Oh. Did, did you did you take a look at my Amazon <laughs> wish list or something? Because uh, that actually oh, came geez. in the mail today. Yeah. No, the the, the thing in your Amazon so wish far. list is the the King Kong one. The, the, oh, the big like twenty no. incher, eleven and a half inches around. No, that's I mean it's Good on God. the list, but it's at the bottom of the list. It's uh we still gotta wait. Was, isn't that the one Siren was ordering when her dog ate the other one? Yeah, I, I think that was the one. Don't let your dog eat your vibrator. That was yes. that's her. Don't that's let always good advice. Your <laughs> that's Don't let your dog around your vibrator. <laughs> yeah. Print that Siren, up. what was that again? Don't let your dog Siren. around your vibrator. Oh, there you go. Okay. okay. Sound advice for everyone. Yeah, yes. that's it. Uh, what do you? Oh, I don't and, know. And, is there? A, what do? What do moms like? <laughs> What's that? I it depends. It depends. We'll get that. Uh, See, I know. I know. Trophy wife, and I asked her. This was penis. months ago, and I said, "Yeah, exactly." Besides <laughs> penis, and that's that's right. an everyday yes. thing. I gift wrap that every day. I'm talking. Uh, she said she wanted cookie sheets. Like cookie sheets. Cookie yeah. sheets. Cookie sheets. Cookie sheets. Hey, if that's what you want, that's what you want. Don't if, judge. If that's what makes her happy. Yeah. She does nude baking, and that it's a nude bake when you scrape off, and it, that crumbs, it gets into your never another region. So she needs a new baking sheet. Cookie so that's sheets. What she's Bracelets, cookie earrings, sheets. Uh, popcorn. Nah, she's not. Nope. Jun, jun, what about, you, a, what about an Oriental bamboo steamer? I don't that know what that's, that's it. Because I love a dim sum. It's good for men. It's, it's yeah. Good for Are you talking about like a, a tortilla steamer? Is that what? No, I'm not talking about? about a tortilla steamer. I'm talking about the like Oriental taco bread? bamboo steamer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> taco <laughs> bread. <laughs> I like I don't it. Know. What about like? Is that, uh, what you're giving, is that what you're giving your mom this weekend? Is the the bamboo steamer? 
How about, does, oh, does anyone dirty. do like gotta, the, the cleaning supplies, say. like vacuums yeah. or mops and stuff? Wow. Those, no. extendo, those extendo. No, 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 no. But like, what if it's like one of those really dusters? expensive, like Dyson vacuums? Right, that right. Costs, those like, are cool. dollars. Right. The yeah, hurricane. Cool. Jet, the, those are yeah. cool. The tornado no, jet action. I'll, I'll take it. Those are like five hundred dollars, man. You're talking yeah, some. Hey, I got, some a, bills I got, for I got a serious question about Mother's Day. Okay. Why do why why do husbands have to get their Live stuff for Mother's Day when they're not their mothers. Well, because, because kids can't afford their shit, mothers so pay for stuff for them. No, 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 no. I can understand the thing getting a, getting a gift from your kid that have yeah. your, have them sign the damn card and have them scribble scratch on there. You can't read it, and everybody go, "Oh, you're so cute." Learn how to write, you little bastard. But I, I understand that part. <laughs> but I'm talking about like like from from Devil Dog to Mrs. Devil Dog. Happy Mother's. I Day. always well. No, that's I dumb. Her, I, don't, I always no. give her a gift. I'm because not when she's a mother. Fuck off. Yeah, but she's, she's not your mother. Yeah, that, that's not my mother. I didn't pop kids. out of her vagina. Exactly. It'd be really weird if you did, did because... Yeah. Well, weird. But anyway. Mother, but yeah, but still, that's... the thing, right thing to do, man. It's not... But but she's not your mother. But she's the mother to my kids. I, I, I'm oh? in agreement with it's Ogre here. Right. And they can get they can they can get gifts for with their pennies that they save. It's custom tradition. Those have pennies. I think it's a downright outrage. Well, I am, I am highly insulted about you, you gonna space, You're going to stand up against getting your wife a gift? Well, i got to get a wife first, but we're working on well, that. Well, you better give Linda a gift. Hey, slow down. I got your slow back down. Words. Come on. Slow roll so, there. Double that's a, yeah, pump the brakes there. Double, hey, Linda, he'll get double double you a dog. gift. Don't worry about Shut it. Up, double <laughs> dog. Shut up. Why would I give her a gift? Come on, it's going to be a, it's gonna be a long summer, so kind of pipe down. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there, oh, here we go. Now that, now that makes that makes zero sense. Of, that makes less sense than my argument about being married. Now what's that? And give it. I mean, why would you give like your girlfriend a Mother's Day gift? Your girlfriend oh, with girlfriend. adult children, not me. Some oh, other. Ah, that's it's the right thing to do. I'm, I'm not no, speaking that's... about me. This is not a real life yeah. situation. This is something. If it's not your that's mom, you don't sounds... have to get him a gift. I, I don't like I think that. that sounds a little pee whipped. That's a little pee whipped. That's like giving yeah. giving the gift I mean, so that you can get some gift later. You know. Here it's you're like, you're, you're here, here, you, from, from what I've seen in the last nine months, you are a wonderful mother to your 29 year old daughter. <laughs> No, but I but oh, Spanger just brought up a good point. I mean, if you're given a gift to get some pussy, I mean, you give the gift. You got a tit for tat, get it? No, no, yeah, no I pun mean, intended. Yeah, I mean, good one. That, that's that's okay in my book. That's yeah, uh, I, I don't want to. How about how about taking them out to eat? Oh, where okay. where do you Oof. like to take your mom? I I, I, yeah. I can do you, that. Devil Dog. I'm in the clear. Linda says I don't want a Mother's Day gift from Ogre. That would be weird. Okay, only yeah. because it would be weird. <laughs> All right. How about another kid? You know, like, How about, she, like a, a puppy. <laughs> That'd be a trick. <laughs> I can tell you. That'd be a trick for both of us, I think. <laughs> well, there you go. How about restaurants? Where do you where do you like to take your moms to eat? Applebee's. KFC. Applebee's. Popeyes. Popeyes. Yeah. The a VFW fish fry. Was that for Was that for Popeyes? I'm all for Taco Bell. You can take Taco your mother Bell, to Taco Bell. Yeah. yeah. I, if take, uh, Taco well, Bell. I just got to take your I'm, mother to, like, some, like, greasy spoon at, like, 4 in the afternoon because that's when she normally eats dinner because she's, like, 100. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take her to uh, to uh, Guilty Pleasures Gentlemen's Club for the uh, happy Ooh. hour buffet. You get, hot, you get hot wings <laughs> and tater tots, all you can eat. Take her to Jimmy's right there on 30. One of the- <laughs> Yeah, there you go, Jimmy's. <laughs> Get some uh, get some sloppy joes uh, at four o'clock. From four to five with sloppy joes, and from six to seven you got uh, free, you free got hamburger tots. Friday. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, pink taco Tuesday. I don't think I'm ever taking my yeah. mother out to eat for Mother's Day. Now that I think about really? it. Really? Yeah, that makes me a terrible. It's son. either Ponderosa or Red Lobster at, uh, at this at this place. <laughs> Ponderosa. Can't go wrong with Red Lobster. They you know? still have Ponderosas. Yeah, Ponderosa. You can't go wrong there with Red is. Lobster. There's, there's no, no truer words the, have ever been spoken. You cannot go Hog wrong. Hog and trough, with a.k.a. Golden Corral. Oh, Jesus mm-hmm. Christ. Yeah, That's it. Yeah. Oh, oh, we have another comment here. Ogre is dumb and literally deserves to be lonely. Uh-huh. Oh, you see? I see Jillian. I literally you go, girl. Come on, Ogre. Who said that? Jillian. That was from Jillian. That was Jillian. Right. Jillian. What did yeah. she say? And Vic, Club 390. <laughs> That's a family place. I love that place. Oh, Club, Club 390 is actually... Yeah, family it, it, it friendly. Holds up. 
All we right. should get them to sponsor. Get Read sponsor that one again because you, you you cut out and I didn't hear. I go. I don't see it on my. Ogre is dumb says, and literally deserves to be lonely. Oh, hmm. okay. Well, go fuck yourself, Jillian. How about that? Ooh, Jillian. Hey, hey, oh, oh was... Jillian. Hey, Feisty. Wow. Call in. I mean, well, call Jillian, in. Don't Jillian. offend Jillian. Ogre. Dial that number and call in. Yeah, uh, call us now and tell, give Ogre a piece of your mind. Yes, on yeah, the air, there live. You go. Why would anybody yeah. do that? That's not very nice. Deserve to be lonely. I'm a wonderful guy Respect in real life. Respect women and maybe you'll get laid. I think it might wow. be off due to the fact that you have like three divorces, but I, get I don't that. know what she's playing off of. Well, you know, they, those those <laughs> <laughs> that mother, those women didn't come around for nothing. It wasn't just, it wasn't my beautiful face, as you could tell, that was getting them in there, Jillian. That uh, don't worry about me getting laid. I got that. That's all taken care of. Yeah, he's talking about he, of he's hung like a horse. No, I'm not saying that. A pony. Shit, he's I, hung like a pony. He's hung like a pony keg. Look, look oh, he, he's hung like a chicken my, then. God. I wonder if I can see it under my gut. Mm-hmm. <laughs> wow. Good for you. you guys <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> oh, no, wait. I forgot I'm a guy, and I'm supposed to say that my dick is like 18 inches long every chance I get. <laughs> Of course not. It gets bigger as uh, as you get older. I guess that's what the uh, that's what the old guys at the gym used to say. What those old guys at the gym? You those old guys. Nuts. Yeah. Yeah. You ever notice yeah. that at the gym they get that the older you get, the less you care about being naked? I guess yeah. so, man. That's why I, I stopped going so. to gyms. They all have the same pose too. <laughs> yeah, there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> <laughs> that is it, Doc. Every you single time. You fucking nailed it. You nailed and once it. Once again, where we were talking about I've been a couple weeks ago about the about the sack exercises. My God, I hope I don't say this in that one in a couple years. Having your nutsack oh, grow down man. to your kneecaps. Jesus. <laughs> and you're right. They're in the gym and they're just standing there with their leg up and yeah. their balls like tickling the fucking bench. Oh. Oh my and god. And forget. Like, dude, put forget some sitting on. in a <laughs> forget sitting in a steam room or a sauna. Oh, they're they're no, spread they're, eagle. Well see man, yeah. you gotta you gotta You got you need a that's barrier. kind of a rough yeah. area too. Because if you're in a steam room and you're in a sauna, you're gonna expect to see that. Did I say sauna? Sauna. You're gonna sauna. You know, sauna. It's gonna like it's, sauna. it's probably gonna yeah, happen. But fuck. in the locker room, you know, you take a shower, you dry off, you get dressed. Mm-hmm. And you do whatever. Yeah. Some guys shave. Some guys comb their hair. I used to know, do that. Brush yeah, their to teeth. Shave. Some guys yeah. are going to work or whatever. But I mean, the, the idea Monday. is 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 the main the, the line here is shower, towel, get dressed. Not not shower <laughs> and then stand in the fucking locker room like Doc was doing and chat with some guy about <laughs> hey. who knows what. Oh yeah. Hey, well, I was pruning my, my tomatoes. Yeah, I was pruning my tomatoes the other day, and would not you know it? I I'm trying to keep those damn possums went, out of my garden. I, put I went for a walk to get the mail. Took me I 20 heard you minutes. Put down some dryer sheets. I tell you what, my <laughs> prostate. We got to look forward to Devil Dog. Grapefruit. That's what we have to yeah. look forward to. That's what we have to Man. look forward to. Hooray! Oh, you guys are almost there. I can't wait. <laughs> you are almost you. there. <laughs> I do that now at dinner. I'm at, at my house. I don't. Cares. You just want to stand around naked with your foot on stand the around naked, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah, why not, man? <laughs> with your yeah. I'll do it right now. <laughs> so, Devil Dog, when do you come, right now. When you come right visit on, on June 30th for Pets and Vets uh, fundraiser, be, just be prepared, man. This is gonna, it's going to be a naked weekend, so just be, be right. ready. We'll do it. All right. Be shocked. Don't be shocked. We'll yeah. Everyone show your All right. hands. So, Who's um, beating off? No, that was me. I'm sorry. I was playing <laughs> with my knife. Kind of a, found, I finally found my knife. This is a... playing with knives. Don't Marine Corps that. official uh, official knife that I got from uh, from somebody and uh, got it all sharpened, ready to go for the summer. Yeah, I collect knives <laughs> and sharpen them. All right, so uh, Doc, do we have any uh, special game segments tonight? Yes, in fact, we do. We got the the closest to without going over Price is Right type game, but this right, time it right. is. All yeah. about the Marvel comic universe. Uh, okay, this is it. Now, Rajesh, do you, guys... do you have any of oh, any exciting of Doc's game show intro music to get us hyped up for nope. this game? Because I'm... Oh, fuck. Nope, uh, nope. Hey, Why do we even bother? <laughs> okay. I don't know. How do we have this These guy? unpaid interns. Fucking ridiculous. Right. Every single time. He did well, say... I'm gonna let... We got a message gonna... here, though. Ooh, uh, he message? said he might have something by next week. Who's that? Uh, Rajesh said we might have something. For oh, we might have something. Week. Okay. Yeah. All right. Have what? All right. What might we have? Are, are you guys ready? Do you guys have your writing utensils? For those of you that are at home, you guys can please play along. Uh, 
put your answers into the comments. Uh, the person that is closest to without going over is going to the, be the winner. If everyone goes over, the person that's closest to the actual answer is going to get the point for that round. There's a total of 10 rounds, and there is a bonus question in this one worth two points. Bonus. All right. Yes, and you must. This game brought to you by our new sponsor, our old sponsor, By and Large. By and Large, when you need it, have it, you have it now. By and Large. All right. Are the contestants ready? Are you guys ready? Spaniard, Ogre, Devil Dog. Let's go. Yeah. Ready? All right, here we go. Here's number one. In minutes, how long would it take to watch all the Marvel movies leading up to and including Avengers Endgame? How long in, mi in, minutes, in minutes in minutes would it take to watch all of the Marvel movies leading up to and including Avengers Endgame? Uh, Ooh. There, there's a lot of minutes there. Yeah, sure there is a lot. DV Oink, I'm going to say your answer is wrong because that's like two different movies right there, and there's that's, been a yeah, lot I was of movies. Say that's one. Could be and one. Yeah. And I haven't seen a lot of them yet. You could call in the show, too, and give an answer. Right, no no yeah, cheating. You can, yeah, well. yeah no, you can call in, no too. Cheating. Call in. 888-240-2560. 2000. Ogre, what'd you come up with? We're going to start with you. Oh, are we up to date? Uh, 3,600. 3,600. All right. Uh, Devil Dog, what'd you come up with? 3,500. Is that negative 3,500? No, that's just a dash for 3,500. And <laughs> yeah, it's a, you would 1, add 660. Because I'm going to put Spaniard all the answers. He's going to get the point on this one. What? What was How it? Much was it? Because the answer is 2,630 minutes. Holy oh, cow. Ooh, wait a second. Gene got 2,000. He got closest. She did, but I, I can't. I can't keep track of all the the contestants. They have to keep track of themselves. Yeah, so keep, right, keep track, track Gene. You got a, You got. You got one there. You got one good. So you got one. All right, one, Gene. one in the right books. All right. Good. But right. between us, Spaniard yes, is leading so far. Okay, here we go. Number two. How fast does the lightning from Thor's hammer travel in miles per hour? Oh. So when he's using his hammer, how fast does lightning travel? Lightning. Hey, here's a hint. It is not the speed of light. How fast does the light from his hammer, or the lightning from his hammer, travel? I'm going to abbreviate, okay? Abbrevi I can't even talk. Abbrevi abbreviate. What? Abbreviate. Mm. I'm going to abbreviate. Okay. Are you guys, do you guys have your answers? I do. Sure. I remember this in physics class. Devil Dog, we're going to start with you. Okay. Da, 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 da. Thor's hammer. 1,000 miles per hour. <laughs> <laughs> not even close. Spaniards, what do you have? Um, I did not convert this to miles per hour, but I got 9.5 meters per second per second squared. Okay. What is that in miles per hour? What the hell is that? I'm, I'm going to have to convert that, so I'm going to have to say 60 miles per hour. I don't know. 60. <laughs> Not even close. Not uh, even close. Ogre. I got uh, faster than shit through a goose. Ooh. Okay, so Devil Dog's going to win this one. Yeah. Damn. He got it for negative what? What, what, what was his answer? 1,000 miles, miles per hour. Oh, 1,000 miles per hour. Oh, 1, I mean, the actual answer is 220,000 miles per hour. Oh, 220,000. Yeah, See, wow. I think my answer, I think my answer would have came pretty damn close to that in mm. meters. Yeah. All right, here we go. Here's number three. What All is right. the maximum amount of weight that the Hulk can lift? Oh, come on. How do we know that? What is the maximum amount of weight the Hulk can lift? Maximum. We talking yes. bench? Uh, deadlift. How much you bench? Or when squat. he's angry, how much he can lift? Oh. How much do you think it is? It's a crazy amount of weight. I I will say that. Really? All right. Boom. Okay. Uh, uh. Unlimited. That is not true. He has limits. Mm -hmm. 
Ogres. No, we don't got limits. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to start with Spaniard this time. What did you come up oh, with, Spaniard? Okay. I came up with uh, 14,000 pounds. Pounds, 14, baby, pounds. 14,000 pounds. That is uh, seven tons. Uh, Ogre, what do you have? Ooh, you want it in tons? I get 3,000 tons. 3,000 tons. You're way over. Five tons. Oh. And Spaniard is going to win this one because the actual answer is 100 tons. Oh, oh 100 actually. tons. Yep, 100 tons. Is that 100 it? 100 tons. That yep. that much. That's more than a tank weighs. Damn. Damn. It's one tank. Oh, it's five tons. You're wrong, yeah, Steve. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, oh, a tank Steve is pretty watching? close to that, but... Uh, yeah, Steve is playing. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. I, gotta anyway. have, I got something. All right, here I we go. Something. Number four. Keep How tall does Ant-Man grow in Civil War? In Civil War. How tall, How tall does, he does he grow in the movie Captain America Civil War? Jesus. <laughs> I feel like Siren trying to guess songs from the 80s. <laughs> <laughs> are, you, are you not Marvel. on the up and up with the Marvel comic universe there? Oh, no, it's all gay. I'm sorry, what was, this, what was the question again? <laughs> the question is, how tall does Ant-Man grow in feet in Captain America Civil War? Four stories tall is not feet. <laughs> <laughs> Just throwing that out there. Six foot, that's, 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 that's his normal height. The only reason I don't Ten like Ten stories, that, that's a little high. I don't know. Yeah. That, that's not feet, again. It's very hey, very very I got a message right, for Steve. Uh, we're back to Devil Dog Superman on this one. Superman would kick the shit out of all these guys. Hey, with Steve, you need to stay with us as long feet. as you can. I have Ooh. something special for you. Devil feet. Dog with 50 feet. Ogre, what do you have? I have 35 feet. 35 feet. All righty. Uh, Spaniard, what'd you come up with? I don't know what else gets a buzzer, <laughs> asshole. Three, 300 feet. 300. <laughs> Oh, 300 feet, that's incorrect. Uh, Devil Dog's going to win this one because the actual answer is approximately 65 feet. What do you have? Right. doing good. So far, <laughs> Spaniard and Ogre are tied. Oh, I'm sorry. Spaniard and Devil Dog Steve. are tied, and Ogre has an absolute goose egg. Here's the bonus hey, question. Hey, Steve. Steve, this was for you. I, I, She wanted to make sure you saw this so that you yes. would give, uh, get your fill. Who's, that, today, who's so. that skinny meth head you put up here? Hey, that's our that's our very own siren. It's, oh, that's siren. That's, that's oh, Jesus, that's her, check, siren. That's her checking to, in. We need to send her a sandwich. That's for you, six. Steve. All righty. Uh, here's the bonus question. Speaking of putting right. on, um, like, this is a two point bonus question, and you must get it dead on. There's no. This is not Price is Right. You have to act, actually answer the question. Is this the okay. last one? Who is no? We we have some more to go, so we'll go through them quickly. Who is the richest character in the Marvel comic universe? Oh, richest. Easy. Who's the richest? Who has the most money? Who's the richest of them all? Who is the richest character in the entire Marvel comic universe? Anyway. Superman sucks. Anyways, um, Devil Dog, what do you have? Sorry, what? I don't know. You don't know? You don't have an answer? <laughs> no. Come on. I don't watch Marvel comics. Everyone's saying Tony Stark. Uh, Spaniard, what do you say? What do you have? Uh, I got Tony, Tony Stark. Stark. Tony Stark. Ogre, what do you have? That's why I said Iron Man. And you guys are both incorrect. Mm -hmm. Who the hell is Tony because Stark? Because the actual answer is Black Panther. I know Black Panther. Ah, uh, Wakanda. I totally forgot about I that. I know Black yes, Panther. And all that vibranium that he has. And that's the only reason why he's mm -hmm. the richest. Vibranium. <laughs> yes. It is not Iron what Man. What is the uh, chemical? The Black Panther. Black Panther. What's the chemical symbol? Five. What's for? What's the chemical signal? Signal. BB. What's the chemical symbol for vibranium? I can't fucking talk. Don't worry about it. Move on. Oh, okay. Don't but, pay any attention um, to the guy in the glasses. All right. Here, here's the the other question. How much money would Black Panther make if he sold all of his vibranium? Oh. Okay. How much? How much money make? is he worth, basically? Ooh. Do you guys want a hint? Okay, well, the hint no. is it's a. Okay, never mind. Then. No <laughs> okay, hint. go fuck oh. yourself. I got this one. You get no hint. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> no <laughs> hint. Okay, Span, you just got this one. What do you think it is? Yeah, you got this. 1.21 gigamillion. 
Oh, shit. I don't know what that number is, but that's way yeah. over. Uh, you think so? I think, I don't know. Uh, ten million. What do you have? Ten million Ogre? dollars. All right, Doctor Evil. Million. <laughs> What'd million. you come up with, Ogre? Uh, I got one dollar. One dollar. About? <laughs> about. It just says about. Three. Three. Fitty. Three fitty. Like fitty. Cent. About three fitty. <laughs> about three fitty. You know. Three fitty. Wow. I can't give. What, what was your What was your guess again, Devil Dog? Ten million dollars. I, I think I have to give it to you because you're you're going to be the closest on this one. Because the actual is. answer is ninety point seven trillion dollars. Trillion. That's me. You got to give it to I, me. Uh, okay, give it 90. to him. Ninety point seven trillion. Give it. Buck, bad, okay, here's number six. Uh, how many suits? Different suits of armor did Tony Stark create? This is easy. How many different suits of armor did Tony Stark create? Is it? In all of the Iron Mans. And Avengers, etc. Does the How many uh, different suits? Does the Iron Patriot count? Yes, as a suit? He created it. Okay. All right. Er, I'm such a geek. Orange, 15. Yeah. Good guess. 24, Joel. All right. What do, you, what do you guys have? Spaniard. Let's see. Seven. Seven. Ogre. Thanks. Uh, Spaniard's going to win this one by default because the actual answer is 42. Holy, Holy shit, weird. 42. Yes. Wow. Do you remember in Iron Man 3 that's when all those suits. different suits came to help him out? Oh, oh yeah, I remember were, that. That's no, I true. Don't. Okay, so all right. He oh, man. created quite a bit of them. I remember when Robert that Downey was... Jr. was sucking dick for coke in that one movie. Oh, what that. the hell? <laughs> <laughs> All you right, number seven. Less than zero. That was, was before, yeah, God, that was before Marvel. Yeah. You want to go? Let's do this. How many people would it take to bench press a helicarrier? <laughs> you can't go with Julian tonight. No, 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 no. <laughs> Give me that crack. Helicarrier. <laughs> that was cool, Tony Stark. <laughs> like a dick I want that crack. crack. Yeah. Less than zero. How many? What was your how many people, question I was thinking about? How many him. people would it take to bench press one of those helicarriers that they have? Fuck a helicarrier. How many people? How many humans? Yes. How many people would it take to bench press a helicarrier? It is they have approximately 100,000 tons. Midgets? Ooh. No, midgets okay. are not included. Oh. Average Brain human racist. male being. Average human male being. Hey, there's JG, Jay-Z and Beyonce. Uh, how many humans to lift a hundred? I don't know. God damn. Yeah, I don't know. Lot. How many humans basically would it take to lift a hundred thousand tons? A lot of fucking Holy humans. Fuck. A lot. Seven thousand. Seven thousand. That's a good guess. Um, yeah, yeah. Devil dog. What do you have? Ten thousand. That's a good guess. Well, that's a good guess. Ogre, what do you have? Devil dog. I'm gonna say seven thousand and one. Seven thousand and one. That's a bad guess. I was a f- hey, what? <laughs> <laughs> because o- Ogre, Devil Dog is going to win this one because the actual answer is about 1.4 million humans. <laughs> they wouldn't even be able to stand around it. Damn. <laughs> That's how many humans it would take to lift it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Devil gotcha. Dog is kicking everyone's ass. This is why I don't watch these Marvel, Marvel movies because they're stupid. <laughs> Superman. <laughs> Anyways, uh, number eight. How many everybody? years in the Marvel comic universe have passed between Captain Marvel and Infinity War? How many years oh. in the Marvel comic universe have passed between uh, Captain Marvel and Avengers Endgame? Or, I'm sorry, Infinity War. Was she in it? Is that the one with the chick? The chick. Captain Marvel. That's the, the new one that came out, but if if you know the, the universe, Captain Marvel is actually like a prequel to almost everything in the Marvel comic universe. Yeah. So oh, it happened Cap- before all the events of Iron Man, etc. Oh, I didn't know. See, I didn't watch the movie yet. So I'm, I'm going to say that. I'm going to change my answer to that. He says 40. He says six years. In their own timeline, how long has passed? How much? How many years have passed? Who knows? All right, Ogre, what do you have? 138. 138. 138. Uh, Spaniard, what do you have? 13. Ooh, 13. Good guess. Devil Dog. 20. 20. Wow, that is almost spot on. Devil Dog is going to get another one because the answer is 22 years. 
Ooh. Oh, two years have passed. Straight up guess. Yes. Please. All right. Yes. How much Please. money was spent filming all of the Marvel Comic Universe movies since the first Iron Man? Wow. How much money, like oh, real wow. dollars, was spent uh, to okay. create the Marvel Comic Universe, basically? Okay. Stan Lee and his uh, his crew. <clears throat> How much was spent creating the movies of the Marvel Comic Universe? Not including oh, the newest man. ones. A shit ton. Uh-huh. 195 million. It's a good guess. That's about the, the budget for one movie. One movie? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Devil Dog, what's your answer? Okay. Three hundred million dollars. Three hundred million. That's a good guess. <laughs> Spaniard, what's your good guess? guess? I always like decimals. Uh, I'm gonna go one point uh, one point two billion. One point two billion. That's an even better guess. Ogre. Wow, that's that's up there. Nine hundred million. Nine hundred million. This one is gonna go to the one and the only, the Spaniard, because the actual Ooh, number that nice. they spent making these movies so far is. Three point nine one billion dollars. Wow. Jesus Christ! Yeah. Crazy amount make, of money. How much did they That's make back? Serious bula. That is my next question. Oh. How That's much money was made That's from all the Marvel comic universes since the first Iron Man? Well, all right. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go for this one. Okay. They spent gotta... about almost four billion dollars making these movies. How much money do you think they made from all of these movies? I got it. Uh, wait. How much did they spend? Tell me again. One point two nine one three. billion dollars. Almost four. Three billion. Almost nine. four. Almost, Almost four, billion, four billion. billion. Yes. Billion with a B. That's a lot of damn money. Oh yeah. All the single ladies. All the single ladies. Too damn much. That's a good guess, D.V. Owen. Thank you for that. Put your hands up. Uh, yeah. we're gonna start with Ogre. What do you, What's your guess? Write it down, make it official. Hurry the I fuck up. Write it down, man. He put the shit away. We were on number 10. He put the shit away. What the <laughs> shit away? Uh, okay, just say your guess then. Just say your guess. Well, I forgot just say it. it. Say it, Claire. Come on, Claire. Uh, eight say and a half billion. Softly. Eight and a half billion. 8.5. Uh, Spaniard, what do you have? Uh, I'm going to add 10 to that. 18.7 billion. 18.7. 18.7. Devil Dog. $100 billion. That's a ridiculous amount of money, and that is absolutely incorrect. Wow. Uh, Spaniard is going to win this one. Yeah. Because the actual answer is $19.645 billion. Nice. Oh, that's wow. That's a stupid amount of money close. and profit. Nice amount of money. We actually stupid. have a tie again. Oh, what? great. Between? Okay, and this is between Spaniard and Devil Dog only. Ogre, you are not Wow, to Devil Dog. Get your right. point that entire Two round. Marines. Head to head. Please reevaluate your life. Continue. And okay, uh, Spaniard and Devil yeah, Dog. Yeah, shut up. Turn your mic off. Zero. <laughs> Ogre. Okay, here's I'm not the, know last the answer question. anyway. I hope you guys are paying attention because this is a tricky one. What is the difference between the last two questions? Okay. What is the difference in money between the last two questions? Oh, the, the actual money. Okay. Yes. What is the difference? Between the answer from number 10 and the answer from number 9. You mean 10 and 11? No, 10 and 9. You because asked 11. we're on you question asked 11. 11. You asked 11 questions. Now, one of them was a bonus that didn't have a number. Oh. Yay. <laughs> what is the difference? Do you guys have your guesses? Are we going to yes. find out who's going to win? Yeah. A dick in the butt. Excuse me? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's what the winner gets from Ogre. Hey, you guys are in for a treat. <laughs> are you ready, Double Dog? Dev? We're going to Ponderosa first. Come on. Old Country Fried Lobster. Shakey's. Can't afford Ponderosa. Okay. <laughs> I want to go to Shakey's and Fryer Tucks, and then, then you can do, do what you will with your penis. Yeah, oh, shit. Deal. Uh, okay, okay, Double Dog, what's your answer? I'm just going to go with... Fuck it. You're not even yeah. going to write a number? Oh, what come on, man. A number, on. dude. Say 14 billion. Say 14 billion, Devil Dog. Write it down. Say no, 14 billion. Original... I'll give you two seconds. 14 billion. Right. To write something no, down. Nope. 
You, you, don't, you just don't want to win? I love Ponderosa now. 20 billion. 20 billion? 20. Okay. Oh, what'd 20 you come billion? up with, Spaniard? That was my original answer. Oh, I got 15. 15 billion. 15 billion. Oh. Uh, Spaniard wins. Congratulations. Because the answer is 15.735 billion. Oh, wow. Oh, See, I was gonna wow. Put a I was going to put a point in there. Got to get wow. that vessel. Well, very Dude, nice. Congratulations, fun. Spaniard. You get a dick in the butt from right. us. Right. Yay. Yay. We'll pay right. you in two weeks' time. Fantastic. Yes. I wanted yes. the Pioneer in. We're going to the Pioneer Inn. <laughs> no, no and that is all. Thank you more for more. participating, and thanks for the people in the audience. That all right. Well, ladies and gents, it's been a fun hour. It is uh, oh. that time again where we uh, bring a close to this beautiful show that we do every Friday night. And before we sign off, we're going to go around the roundtable one last time for... Final thoughts, and we're going to start off with our very resident-owned ogre. It's Thaley Ogre Manor. Your final thought there, brother. Hey. Yeah, hey, uh, the Jillian there. It's all in good fun. Just <laughs> everything's cool. You, 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 look like, you look like a fine young lady with a kid, but I wouldn't put you in a MILF category yet. I'm sure Doc would argue that forever. But other than that, uh, yeah, just... Uh, when you're out in the real world and you're not listening to us four idiots or five or six or however many show up and the shit that we say here, when you're out in the real world, just try to remember that not everybody is uh, grown up the same way you did. Not everybody has the same background, the same upbringing you had. And, uh, you know, just not try to try to shout things at the top of your lungs that some people may find offensive or make racist hand signals. You probably don't want to do that either. But if you don't know they're racist, I guess it doesn't matter. Forget that last part. Just don't be assholes, basically, and uh, you know, try to keep your try to keep your loud cussing uh, rants to under yourself. control yeah. to yourself. Yeah. And I'll meet yeah. you at Dunkin' Donuts. Right on. Oh, we didn't have a Dunkin' Donuts story today. Damn, yeah, we saved those for Monday. For Monday, Roger. That's because that. I get to see the hoos on Sunday morning. The hoos. There you go. <laughs> All right, uh, Doc. You know, final thoughts. We always complain that Devil Dog. We no one should go after him, but. I'm going to complain this time because that, that was pretty spectacular. That, that, that was pretty good, Ogre. I, I'll shout right. out to you Ogre for that. That, the, was, uh, that was very dark profound dark. and, what did, and what very did I do? heartfelt. I, I like that sign out. But the only thing that I have is get your mom something nice, take her out to dinner, and, and spend the day with your mother because that's the only thing that she wants is the, to see her children, etc. So have fun and be safe. Go. Roger that. Uh, <laughs> uh, very good. Before we head over to our resident uh, detective of the NYPD, I want to go ahead and share something real quick because we're going to do this segment with uh, Devil Dog. We have uh, an event that I wanted to uh, share here real quick. Uh, we have the third annual VA resource event. Uh, this is going to be Thursday, right? The day before Memorial Day, May 23rd from 1 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. at the American Legion Post 369 in East Chicago, Indiana. Uh, the services offered there are going to have just like a handful here, like uh, readjustment counseling, help with VA online accounts, uh, VA health enrollment, suicide prevention, uh, employee assistance, housing assistance. This is a good opportunity to get your shit squared away. If you need any type of these assistance types of programs, get your asses over there. No excuses. Head on over there. The Vet Center is a great place. Um, they've, uh, they've they've helped out yours truly right here. So, uh, again, if they could fix this uh, this wretched old thing, who knows what they can do for you. So make sure you head out there. Tell them the Spaniard sent you. Uh, who knows? Uh, I may even be there myself. You might get a free gift. You never know. So don't forget, that's May Tell 23rd. Tell them sent you. They'll show you the door. Yeah, there you and go. Give you so there you have it. There you go. So, Devil Dog, back to you. What do you got? Well, you know, I want to wish all the uh, moms that are uh, in the NYPD and throughout the uh, police department, happy Mother's Day. Yes, you, you know, people don't realize that, you know, they have to work. They have to, you know, they're, they're police officers and they have to work on Mother's Day. So, happy Mother's Day to all you mothers out there in blue. And um, I want to plug one more time. If you're having issues, uh, if you're falling under depression or you're stressed out, you can always call the Veterans Crisis Hotline uh, at 1-800-273-8255. Press the number one and someone will be there live to assist you to go through wherever you're going through in life. Veterans, helping veterans, that are, that's what we are here about this show. And to all my men and women in blue, always wear your best. Hey, Devil Dog, what's that number again? 
Always wear your mask. That number is 1-800-273-8255. That is the Veterans Crisis Hotline. They're available 24 hours, seven days a week. For all our veterans that are going through stress and depression, it's not worth being alone. There's always someone there to talk to. You press the number one and you'll be contacted live to an, uh, someone that can uh, talk to you and uh, walk you through uh, whatever issues you're going through. All right. We had a comment there. Where can we find a copy of that flyer? I will post it up in our Black Sheep Bravo page there, Patrick. Uh, I will uh, make sure you share it. I will send. I will put that up here after the show is over. Thank you for that comment. And uh, lastly, myself. Who's the, who's uh, the dumbass that asked that? <laughs> who's the dumbass? Well, Patrick uh, St. John. Patrick. What's wrong with that? <laughs> Kid. <laughs> that was a good question. I bet, I, bet that, I bet that kid's father's a real asshole. Probably. But then, yeah. <laughs> it probably you know, is. Probably. Is it 8255 or 8355? Who fucked up? 8255. Rajesh. 8255. 8255. Oh, 8255. Yeah. Sorry. Get your number straight there. Come on now. <laughs> yeah. Reach out to the show. I'll send you 8355 one. 8355 might be like a porno starts. hotline or something. Yeah. Although, yeah, which might get you out of your funk. There you go. You, know, you got to be resourceful. Phone, Think sure. outside the box. Yeah. And speaking of outside the box, men, gather around the mic or gather around the speakers here real quick. I got a little something. Spaniard's got a little tip for you for Mother's Day. Now, you know, we talked about this earlier about giving your mom the perfect gift. And even though if you don't have a kid, uh, but you may have it on the way, here's a special gift you can give on this Mother's Day. Two words, all right? It happens to be named after a, fir- a famous officer uh, in the Marine Corps named Colonel Angus. You do, uh, you do that number on your, on your, uh, your, uh, your special woman there. Colonel Angus will come through. You'll have a happy weekend. So guys, don't remember. If you need any pointers on Colonel Angus, hit me up on my Insta, uh, instant messenger. I'll be able to give you some tips. So don't forget today's word or this weekend. The word of the day is Colonel Angus. Happy Mother's Day, Spaniard yeah, Al. A, All right, Josh. There's, there's a, there's a note for Jillian on how I <laughs> can't win. It's not, it's not special occasions that you just pull out old Colonel Angus. <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Don't forget to tune in Monday for Monday Motivation with Ogre, Spaniard, what? and myself. Oh, yeah. Yeah, watch my stupid yeah. show on Monday. Tell yeah, your friends. We'll be there Monday, so see we'll us there. Monday the 13th. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. All right. Cue it, Rajesh. Tut, tut, tut. Yeah, let's get the hell out of here. Yeah. What is that? Yeah. And how come that? I got to have a picture of me in my wiener costume on the yeah. on the opening credits? <laughs> what, you don't like that? I love that, man. We're just said he's playing the music. I don't know if you guys can hear it or not. Oh, there it is. You can hear it, man. Okay. There it is. Have a great weekend. See ya. Don't forget your sunscreen. Watch, watch Monday. Happy Mother's Happy Monday. Day.